Today's an historic day in Canada. Uh, I think for the first time we had the five largest uh, grocers uh, coming to Ottawa. I'm told it's the first time in Canada we do that. Uh, those were difficult discussions uh, that lasted almost two hours, uh, but discussions which are much needed at a time where uh, Canadians are hurting and we know the price of food in particular is affecting all Canadians from coast to coast to coast. I'll tell them in no uncertain terms uh, the feeling of millions of Canadians who want to see action. Uh, I am pleased to have seen the constructive tone of the discussion over the course of the two hours. And bottom line is that they have agreed uh, to support uh, the government of Canada in our efforts to stabilize food price in Canada. Uh, we're going to continue to fight for Canadians because that's what they expect us to do. Uh, over the next few weeks, and we will continue to push for uh, stabilizing price here in Canada. We've gathered the CEOs of grocery, uh, big grocery chains today to make sure they have a plan to stabilize prices uh, for Canadians right across the country. Uh, food's too expensive for doing families, uh, and they're making record profits. This Liberal government has known for 20 months, for two, almost two years, that the rate of inflation for for food, for groceries, has outpaced general inflation. What we're proposing is not further delays, but a concrete law right now. It is, it's gonna be presented in the House today. That is a law that could be passed before families are buying groceries for Christmas dinner. Under Justin Trudeau, onions are up 69%. Cabbage is up 70%. Carrots are up 74%. Lettuce, 94%. So my question to Mr. Trudeau is now he's going to hold a big meeting to reverse the, the massive increase in onions, cabbage, carrots, and lettuce. He says by Thanksgiving he wants results. So will lettuce prices be back down to their original price by Thanksgiving? Will carrots be back down to their original price by Thanksgiving because of this big... A uh, photo op he's holding with gro grocery store CEOs. This is more political theater.